folks, Carl here from Making Models. Uh, welcome to episode 3 of the First Order Dark Trooper. In the last episode we got this to a point where it was just ready for touching up and finishing off. So as you can see, um, I added the grass, a little bit more detail around this area, some more of the coarse ballast. Uh, we put in some where the figure is going to be sitting, this is where his knee is going to be sitting and his foot and there's a foot, couple of footprints dotted about. Um, I washed the model with some olive drab, watered down probably 5 to 1, 5 parts uh, thinners, uh, 5 parts and 1 part olive drab and just washed it out and then we dry brushed some different colours over the more coarse ballast uh, starting dark and working our way to lighter so this is now complete and ready for the trooper so in this episode we are going to weather the trooper we're going to apply a gunk wash and we're going to apply some chalks for a dusty looking effect on the troop. So, without further ado, on with the episode. Okay, so, on to the weathering of the trooper. So, we've got all the bits laid out here. Now, decision was made, I'm going to gunk wash with the oils that I mixed up. This is like a dirty engine oil sort of colour. In there, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that on this camera. Not very well. Anyway, the idea is to do a complete gunk wash to cover it all up so we can see what it looks like. Now, I've done a couple of test pieces. Um, let's remove these out of the way. So first of all I did the baton with that gunk wash. Shows up quite nice on the yellow, but as you can see on the black you can't actually see that much. The main thing it has done is giving it a very, very matte sort of colour. It's taken away the shine. Uh, if you look on a piece that's not been touched yet. They are quite shiny. What I've also attempted and had a go of is as soon as the oil wash is on, instead of leaving it to dry before we had any dust effects or anything like that, I've actually just seen what happens if we dust it up when the oil's still damp. Um, the effect I've got wasn't too bad. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. If it'll focus, focus, come on, come on, come on, there we go, there is a, you can actually see the dust in there, the shine's gone, so, I'm going to try and do all the other pieces the same. Do the same with the gun. Come on, focus. There we go. So you can see the dust in there now. Focus. So, we're going to try that with all these pieces. <coughs> so, we're going to need several bits and pieces. Obviously, we're going to need the oil, some cotton buds, some brushes, one for applying the oil, one for taking it off rather than a rag. They seem to have more success. A glove. And 
powders for the dust. So let's get on with it. So we're going to do these pieces first. So we take all those off there. Brush, putting it on. And then it's, you've probably seen this a thousand times. I'm just going to slap it on. and crannies but trying not to touch the plastic inside I don't know how well the varnish actually tastes the plastic so it's not worth risking it speed this bit up so I'll talk to you shortly. Okay, so now, now that that's all on, we're now just going to quite simply brush it off. So we want a bit of cloth. I move this to one side. A little bit of cloth for taking the excess off, and then it's literally. We're just going to brush it off. Take the excess off the brush. I'll keep going at it. Keep doing this until it's pretty much nearly all gone. It takes a little bit longer than taking it off with a cloth. But you seem to, if you go in the direction of in the same direction all the time. Anywhere where there's little grooves and stuff and nooks and crannies usually has a tendency to stay in a little bit better. taken the shine off quite well if we compare the two put this down if you compare the two one's still quite shiny and the others they still look shiny but it's more of a like a matte shine looks a lot better uh, hopefully we can just lift this light up a little let's see if we can get it to show you camera's not doing too well at focusing at the moment. The oil still is there in the lips of the joints and things like that. So we shall come back to that in a moment and we shall carry on and get the rest brushed off. So this will probably speed up again.
just to show you this yellow piece I had to use a rag on it and the brush wasn't taking enough off the top bit so I just used a rag over the top that left the other part as though it was still brushed so you can still see it's still grime, more grimy at the bottom than it is at the top so just so you know I had to brush that one sorry rag that one so I'm going to continue no, now we've done those first few bits I'll show you what I mean by applying some dust onto them so I'll put these down here now they're washed off or brushed off so we need some chalk and for this one I'm using this brown coloured chalk Bring this in. And it's just a matter of scraping some off. Really quite a bit, so. Same brush as you use for taking the oil off. I quite literally, I'm just going to start dabbing it. Onto the piece, wherever there's any grooves or ridges or anything like that. So we're literally just going to start dabbing it on and very lightly rubbing it off. It. What we're trying to do is to dab it into the recesses, keep brushing it off. So I'm going to around the edge of there, and then brush, and keep it in the recess. Again, this is going to darken it down again a little bit more. So the oil is still wet, well it's not wet per se, it's damp, so the dust is actually going to grip into the oil, and what we're trying to do is force it into the grooves, so it actually sits and it looks grimy. So a little bit more in there. I'd zoom in but this camera doesn't have the option to zoom when it's at this resolution. I'd have to drop the resolution right down to about well, 640 by 480 I think. Very lightly. So I'm going to bring that up and see if we can get this focus in on there so you can see all the grooves and stuff it's gone into like the groove down the side of the arm on the leg the top of the uh, ankle piece it's all dusty in there but I don't want the dust all over it so with a cotton bud I'm just going to go around and lightly rub off all the high points so we'll try and rub on this piece here just to take some of that dust away and then around the actual piece itself. I'm not going to wet it. I'm literally just trying to take a very thin layer of that dust off on the higher points.
rub too hard it may very well start to take the paint off so let's see if we can get this to zoom in again so there you can see it looks all grimy apart from the higher points and there's dust sitting in most of the recess So yeah, so I'm going to carry on and get some of these other bits done. I'll show you on the hand again. Force it into the grooves and then brush it. So you can see on the knuckles, forcing the dust into the knuckles and the oil should hold it. Some of these smaller holes, I may need to get a smaller brush. And then again, we will go round with the cotton bud. Lightly rub over the higher points. Marble. Also take some of that dust back off. Well, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it like this before. I've not done it like this before. I thought I'd just give it a go, see what sort of results we'd get. So that's what it's all about try different things so now you can see on his hand the dust has stayed in the recesses and we've cleaned off the top top part still looking reasonably dull it's not on shiny again so I shall carry on getting all these bits and pieces done I'll probably video, speed up the video for a little while see how long it takes. I shall record the whole lot and see what we get. Anything interesting that props up it will slow down. So, talk to you shortly.
So it's going to be the same for the joints. These have not been varnished at all, so these are just going to get dusted up. Don't need too much detail on these because it's the main draw to the eye is going to be the armor itself. So we just need to get these to look dusty as well. Take that shine off, take that black, intense black off. So that should do. Okay, so I'm going to cut the video there. I'm going to carry on and get all this lot done, and we should be right back. Okay, as I've been working through these bits and pieces, I've actually found a better way of doing this, and that is to take the piece, quite literally, just saturate whole thing with dust very gently brush it off not too much and then come in with a cotton bud and take off as much that now that is quite saturated with dust so now come in with your cotton bud as I've just said and start to take off where you don't want the dust or as much as you want you may very want to leave it as dusty as that whereas I don't I want, I want him dusty but not quite that dusty so I'm just going to work my way around taking as much off as I want which is going to be probably most of it apart from in the grooves and towards the, on this piece towards the bottom of the leg so I'll show you where I've taken that to so it's still dusty still see the dust in the joints and stuff no. leave these to dry so if we compare that to the previous one we did which is this one which has been drying out a bit I may need to go back over these let's go this way Get it to focus easier perhaps Focus, focus, please. You're not going to, are you? There. That was some of the previous method. So I may very well go over these again with a newer way of doing it. We'll see. We'll hold them up and we'll take a comparison between the two. They're actually pretty close. So yeah, so I'm going to carry on. Speak to you shortly.
that is us done for this part until this lot is dried properly finished um, there's a helmet for a quick look that reasonably well Um, the, the main top part of the armour again came out quite well. The dust has stuck to the oil. I just wiped it away what I didn't want. Yeah, I don't know what it's going to look like once it's dry, but uh, I suppose we'll find that out. in a couple of days so speak to you surely okay it's been uh, probably 12 14 hours since we completed the the weathering so I'm just going to take a look to see how this has started to dry out see if it started to make any difference to what it looked like when it was fresh so as you can see it's turned out pretty good it's not I thought, I was thinking to myself that it the may very well that the oil would soak into the powder itself, but ooh, it seems to be quite good. It's not, it's not changed colour at all, it's just settling, so. So I'm quite chuffed with that. I shall put it all together in the next couple of days, probably. But I think for now, I'm going to call it on this video. Because I think we're about 40 minutes thereabouts. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you like it, hit the like button. If you want to see some more, please subscribe. And as always, keep making models and be good, be safe. And I shall see you next time. Bye.